The state of Georgia came together today to mark 23 years since 9-11. Many people gathered at the state capitol to honor the victims. Our Valencia Jones spoke with Georgians remembering loved ones who were killed in the terror attack. I lost a dear childhood friend in the second tower 23 years ago today. He was on the 104th floor. Roswell Fire Department Chaplain Dory Griggs was living in New Jersey during the 9-11 attacks when terrorists flew planes into the Twin Towers and the Pentagon and when they hijacked a plane that crashed in Pennsylvania. Her childhood friend, at Sandler O'Neill, was among the nearly 3,000 people killed. It's personal. You know, anyone who grew up in that area, lives in that area, was affected personally. Georgia's remembrance ceremony paid tribute to the lives lost on September 11th, 2001, as well as the first responders and service members who risked and sacrificed their lives. This ideal of selflessness, of service above self, is foundational to our core values and to our ethos as a country and as Americans. We were painfully reminded that freedom is not free and that the principles that we hold dear and make America the last best hope for the world also make us a target. Chaplain Dory Griggs says the 9-11 anniversary also serves as a reminder of the importance of unity in the face of tragedy. We have far more in common than we do differences, and it's important to work together towards peace. That solidarity was seen and felt inside the state capitol and around the country. In the face of that horror, and the terrorism our enemies hoped would break us. We all witnessed a renewed spirit of patriotism, of strength, and of courage that we must continue to drive us forward to this day. Moving forward with resilience and a shared mission. That shared blessing to live in the greatest nation on earth must be our guiding light in the days ahead. And a light in the years to come. Valencia Jones, Atlanta Now News.